Wrong ones part ways, right ones find their way. The title of the article I'm sharing with you today is My Nanny Dad Raised the Child for a Year and Got Divorced. It's not infidelity or poverty that ruined the marriage. Let's listen together. It's no longer surprising for a full-time mom to collapse, but it's somewhat regrettable for a full-time dad to be discouraged from marriage. Not long ago, internet celebrity Daddy Xiao Qiang, after taking care of the child full-time for a year and a half, revealed his divorce certificate. Many people were shocked because they had the impression of a happy family of three. Why did it suddenly fall apart? He later stated that there was no third party involved, just the trivialities of life, which were hard to accept. A heartbreaking comment follows. It turns out that men who take care of children can also reach the end of marriage. About marriage, I received a letter from a father to his son that moved me, so I decided to share it. QIU has already started maternity leave. During a meal together, QIU said that after giving birth, she would take care of the child herself for one or two years before bothering him. He casually said, just quit your job directly and stay at home full time to take care of the child. She obviously didn't have this plan. She just said she quite liked this job and didn't want to quit. It was a normal conversation until the next sentence exploded. It's so good to stay at home full time with the child. You don't have to do any housework and you can still use my money to support you. The speaker may not have meant any harm, but to the listener, it sounded like an employer giving alms to a maid. Sure enough, QIU was a little unhappy at that moment. Deciding to quit his job to take care of the child out of consideration for his wife's hardship. In reality, what is a full-time dad's day like? Sleeping in until waking up naturally? Thanks for listening so far. This channel is for everyone to improve better daily. If any of the words or sentences are helpful, then both my team and I will be very happy. Subscribing and following will help keep us moving forward. Let's get back to sharing. Sorry, it's 5 a.m. when he has to get up to prepare breakfast for his wife and child. The wife has a breakfast while the child needs separate supplementary food. After the wife leaves, does he start idling around at home? The reality is feeding, changing diapers, and comforting the child, which repeats throughout the day. Consoling the child to sleep takes 40 minutes each time, at least eight times a day. Changing and washing diapers for the baby takes 20 minutes each time, at least eight times a day too. Busy until evening without a chance to rest, then he has to prepare dinner for the family. This is just a normal and smooth day. When the child gets a little older and starts crawling around, taking care of the child becomes even more exhausting. You can place a phone on the child to test it, and an active child takes up to 25,000 steps in a day. On top of this, you still have to cook, clean, pay utility bills, sort out seasonal clothes and serve the in-laws who may come anytime. This workload has long exceeded working overtime at a job. Just as Daddy Xiaoqiang complained, which company requires working more than 20 hours a day? Moreover, no matter how hard a job is, there are always rest days where you can comfortably sleep until you naturally wake up at home and do nothing all day. Nobody will force you to get up and work. But when you're taking care of children, there are no rest days. Whenever you want to fully relax and stretch, as soon as the child cries or fusses, you immediately have to dive back into the battlefield. On his first day of taking care of the child, he is full of energy, but a year later he looked exhausted, with hair loss, dark circles and decreased memory. The proud abs also disappeared because there was no time for exercise. This is the true face of being a full-time dad. I remember someone once asked a divorce lawyer why girls nowadays are unwilling to get married. The lawyer said it's because women are becoming increasingly independent they no longer rely on men. They can have their own careers. In other words, women no longer see marriage as reliance but as cooperation. When she joins hands with you, she accepts a premise that the partnership may dissolve. Being brave enough to divorce is the confidence she has in getting married. This has become the voice of many women. How strong-minded. In the long journey ahead, every time you want to get angry, every time you want to blame him or her, every time you want to take advantage of his or her tenderness, ask yourself, do I want a stable home? What does he or she want? Have I given it to him or her? Let's encourage each other. That's all for today's sharing. Feel free to leave a comment and share your feelings. 
Don't forget to like and share with your friends. Looking forward to meeting you.